My only question is, hold, are you sure your old ass eyes are up to the challenge? I know you're just trying to motivate me, but these old ass eyes will be reading your tombstone, son. Oh, we needed more light in this place. Now I can finally think. The ideas are like flowing out of me. Okay, what about this one? It's hamburgers, but the pickles are coins. You still feel bad for her now that she's a cokehead? She's not a cokehead. She's an innocent girl in a stressful situation who did cocaine one time and will probably never do it again. Woo! Guess who just did more coke? This is my thing now. Ooh, okay. Is it Nucci? Yes. He wants to know if I can do the handoff in two hours. Um, I'm gonna tell him no because I'm having so much fun with my new best friends, Jake and Rosa. Oh, no, 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 don't mention us. You know, because you're supposed to be working, not enjoying yourself, right? Just keep it short, say two hours is great. That's very smart. And I'm gonna send him my favorite gif of Mr. Bean giving a thumbs up. Ugh, Mr. Bean, what a stud. Hey, Rosa, what would you do if you could do anything to Mr. Bean? Nothing. Come on, Rosa, don't be shy. Say what you would do to international sex symbol Mr. Bean's body. Fine. I would take a very large glass <laughs> Let himself out. I see. Wow, um, I just have one quick note. Mr. Bean never <laughs> beg for mercy. Ah, great note, Debbie. The point is we all think Mr. Bean is sexy as hell and wish we looked exactly like him. You're closer than you think. Hmm? Oh, hey, Rosa, it's not that you're a third wheel or anything. It's just that we're out of ice. So could you go get us some more ice, please? Hey, well, this is full of ice, but yeah. I'll hit up the 99. We've actually been texting the 99 a lot, haven't you? Yeah, to make sure our cover's intact and so they don't figure out that we're dirty. Is that what's really going on? Because I feel like there's something you're not telling me. I feel like all that coke is making you paranoid. No, you're paranoid. Now don't you dare take another step. <laughs> okay, Debbie, what are you doing? Give me your phone. That's it. Debbie Fogel, you are under arrest. What? Oh my God, are you not really dirty? No, and I'll be taking that gun. Hiya! <laughs> Okay, so the women's gym and the cocaine have given Debbie superpowers. Cool. Go, 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 Hold your gun for you, and then you can hit yourself in the face with your fists like a normal person having a mental breakdown. I can't give you my gun. You're probably trying to arrest me. Debbie, I'm not like Rosa. Here, check my phone. I haven't been texting the 99. I have nothing to hide. I don't know. There are a lot of sweet messages between you and Amy. I thought you said she stinks like She does. Prove it. Describe her stink to me. Don't think about it. Just say it. Bad mayo, three-day-old macaroni salad. OK, I buy it. I trust you. Why'd you do that? Rosa probably told the 99 that you're corrupt and they could use your phone to track us to the new drop site. Oh, right. Smart. Hey, should I drive? You know, that way you could take a nap and get the coke out of your system and we'll both be calm and, and you just did a bunch more. I did! I'm the king of New York! I'm driving! Woo! So, how's it going? What do you want, Terry? Are you just here to fan some more flames? No, I'm just here to see who's losing and therefore has to wear this hat I made that says, more stupider. <laughs> Fine, yeah, I'm fanning flames. Fan, 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 Santiago. Don't call her Santiago. Call her Virginia Slim, because I'm smoking her. Damn, Ray! <laughs> you guys are moving fast, but there's no way you're actually comprehending anything. I'm taking my time and reading deliberately, and you know what they say. Slow and steady wins the race. Classic reg reader bullcrap. Yeah, what are you gonna say next, that you read to relax? <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better than that dump of a hotel, right? This place has six chimneys. Uh, hey, Debbie, whose house is this? Oh, it's mine. I own it um, until 11 a.m. on Monday. We have to be out by then, or it's another $45,000 uh, to Airbnb. But until then, I'm a mansion girl. What happened to using the money for your father's surgery? Was it a lie? No, my dad really is sick, but I found out this morning that my stupid brother Derek already paid for his surgery. He thinks he's so great because he's like a big shot lawyer, and he has a family, and he's not afraid of ghosts. Well, guess what? I get to keep the cash now. So take that, Derek, and, you know, put it. She's a man.